Hey, what's going on guys? Butterbar here. Welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we are going to be talking about will Modern Warfare learn from the past mistakes that other, other games have made, as well as games that are currently out right now when it comes to microtransactions. Now, before I get into this, again, thank you guys so much for the amazing support you've been giving me with the likes and sharing of my video. Again, I really do appreciate it. So if you guys like my videos, you like my content, please give me a share, give me a thumbs up, and also let me know in the comments below what you guys think about the certain topics that I talk about. All right, so today's video, I want to get into the topic about will, I mean, games in general, but also just as Modern Warfare alone, will it learn from past mistakes that other games have made when it comes to microtransactions, Black Ops 4 probably being the worst, and also too currently now with Apex Legends and the loot box or the loot crates or loot ticks, whatever you want to call them, uh, uh, price gouging that they're actually doing in that game. So we'll talk about that, but first off, I do want to lead with this. Look, we've just recently got news in the past couple of days of Infinity Ward letting us know when it comes to operators in their game. So they don't have specialists, there's no unique special abilities connected to these operators within the game, but one thing that had me nervous as a player, as a consumer, uh, was the fact that they were going to be price gouging and putting all different type of cosmetic items on certain operators and that's how they were going to break down some of their loot uh, uh, mechanics I guess uh, when it comes to uh, unlocking certain things for operators however that is not the case from what Infinity Board has let us know is that each operator is going to be able to be earned in game but also too when it comes to different cosmetics to unlock for those operators it's just going to be one basic skin so it's not going to be certain sunglasses and helmets and pants and shoes and braces and all this other BS it's it's just going to be one set of skins that you will just have to either pay for or unlock in game. And to me, honestly, that has me super excited as a consumer. Look, I absolutely cannot stand it. You know, kind of going back almost to Advanced Warfare days where you had, you know, cosmetic items or you had items in the game where you had to unlock helmet sunglasses gloves pants socks britches i don't know you had to unlock so many different things cosmetic wise to your operator to your character that it just got really annoying and especially to going back into i guess you know uh, going into black ops 4 and the way that they're doing microtransactions honestly it just had me super nervous of you know what the call of duty series has done in the past and will modern warfare make the same mistake However, at least when it comes to this decision where, you know, each operator is going to have their own unique skins, it's just going to be one flat out skin. There's not going to be certain things you have to unlock in order to collect the set or whatever for an operator's skin. Does have me have me happy just because look that is frustrating as any player any consumer of this stuff it does make a very uh, frustrating time to be able to unlock certain things to make your character look really cool and the fact that they're making just a flat out skin does have me happy and excited that hopefully modern warfare continues down this path of where cosmetic items are not a big frustration when it comes to players wanting to unlock everything in the game all right so now let's talk about what it comes to modern warfare when it went when, when wanting to learn from other games mistakes most currently and we'll kind of go back to black ops 4 as well but most currently with apex legends now if you guys have not paid played apex legends recently a recent update came out with that game uh having solos actually being available so uh for the longest time since apex legends has been out since february it only had a uh, trio you can only play with three man squads but recently in the past couple of days solos have been locked or unlocked so you can actually play as a solo person for a couple of weeks to me, honestly, I, I really don't really care for the Battle Royale. It's not my cup of tea. Played Ap Apex Legends for quite a bit. Actually got flown out to Respawn to try it out uh, before it was released. So that was really cool. Kind of got to put in my little input as a Titanfall person. Uh, so far, not nah, none of the things I talked about got put in the game. But that's on another... That we'll talk about that maybe in another video. However, with this latest update, new cosmetics came in with this update as well as the solo. However, in this new cosmetic item inventory that they have in Apex Apex Legends, uh, it's going to cost you a hefty pinch. It's going to cost you a hefty, it's pretty much a nickel and diming situation when it comes to Apex Legends. It's honestly, as somebody that's a fan of the uh, what Respawn has created with Titanfall series, Apex Legends being a Titanfall game, as somebody that is a fan of that, seeing this happening it makes me very skittish. It makes me kind of worried about what other game studios are doing like this. Now, again, we don't know if it's Respawn. We don't know if it's EA that's doing it. But honestly, to me, looking at this from the outside in, as somebody that has completely stopped paying, playing Apex Legends, but it's also seeing a lot of people cover the news of, you know, a nickeling diamond, uh, you know, scenario happening in Apex Legends does have me nervous and makes me worry about what Modern Warfare is going to be doing because if they're seeing another, you know, AAA publisher game studio that is doing it in a free-to-play game, 
Um, to me, honestly, it's just a absurd, and I, I really hope that Modern Warfare does not go down that route. Now, I know a lot of people are making the uh, the excuse, I guess, for it being a free-to-play game. You don't have to buy the cosmetics in that game, but honestly, the cosmetic items are pretty much the only thing that's in that game besides the BR game mode and besides maybe, you know, the three-man mode or the solo mode. The cosmetic items are literally the content that's in that game. And really, if you're putting a over $150 price tag on just a few cosmetics that are in the game, uh, that's probably more, uh, th th I mean, that's more, I mean, hell, you look at a $60 game that has more content than that, and for $150, you're not getting a whole lot of anything. So to me, honestly, hopefully Modern Warfare is looking and seeing what players are wanting. Um, at least, for me, really just treating fairly. Look, players want to be treated fairly when it comes to video games. You're paying $60 for a game, hopefully you're getting the game, the content, that's in it and hopefully you're getting a little bit extra for what you know the game has worth when it comes to unlocking content if you're paying you know sixty dollars or even fifty more dollars for a season pass hopefully you're getting a little bit more content you know added on to that price tag when it comes to apex legends and seeing kind of what they're doing with a hundred fifty dollar price tag for the cosmetics and items in that game to me honestly i don't see that as a as a fair price tag or a fair treatment of players uh when it comes to you know wanting to bring in you know players in that game wanting to unlock all the content i mean honestly you know players want to unlock content they want to unlock things in their game to make their character look cool and especially in a br game like that and cosmetics are the pretty much the only thing to look different to look unique in that game apex legends i feel like is just kind of going down a slippery slope and a dangerous slope when it comes to you know pushing players away and having a giant price tag i mean uh, honestly you kind of look at a price tag like that with 150 dollars worth of cosmetics the only people that are going to be buying that stuff are people that are on the main stage the high rollers when it comes to people that are doing content and streaming and whatnot uh or people that have a lot of money they they, they have big paychecks that are able to afford that People like me that go off a of basic income, I'm a firefighter, don't make that lot of money. Um, as just a basic player, there's no way in the world that I can argue or I can support, um, you know, funding $150 for, worth of cosmetic items and think that I did not get treated uh, unfairly. So to me, honestly, looking at that situation that's going on with Apex Legends, coming over and looking at Modern Warfare, I really hope it does not go down that route. I really hope when it comes to Modern Warfare, being a $60 game or, you know, a $100 game, depending on what version of the game you bought, um, you know, with if you're wanting, you know, extra content with the extra cosmetic items in that game, if you're paying the $100 version, I really hope that we're not getting cheated. I hope we're treated fairly. I hope we're treated uh, decently when it comes to cosmetic items. If we're paying up front for a $60 game, hopefully later on down the road, we're not getting treated like Black Ops 4, where we're getting charged, you know, $10, $12, $15 for com cosmetic items in that game. And another thing, too, with recently with Black Ops 4, having the change to some of the DLC weapons, the Stingray, uh, to me, honestly, it, it, ju it just, look, when Modern Warfare comes out, if it's going to have DLC weapons in it, learn from Black Ops 4, learn from what their situation is, because people spent a lot of money going after the Stingray, which is probably the most powerful gun in Apex Let or in uh, Black Ops 4, because it was, it was uh, hidden inside the reserve crate. People spent hundreds of dollars trying to find that Stingray, and it, again, it was the most powerful gun. However, with Black Ops 4 and Treyarch making an update to that game, now it's a very weak gun in Black Ops 4. To me, honestly, looking at that, seeing that people are spending the money to to achieve, to try to get after guns that are in reserve crates, that are very expensive to get, that are the most powerful guns in the game to get, to me, it's just, I, I don't want to be like that. I really don't want Modern Warfare to be like that to where people are spending, you know, people want to spend money and support your game if, it's, if people are getting treated fairly. If you look at Black Ops 4, you look at what Apex Legends is doing with cosmetics, Players are not getting treated fairly. People are not being tr uh, treated decently in those games to where it, it, people want to support kind of what's going on. Black Ops 4, uh, a player base, and, and people that are watching it have gone down. Apex Legends, uh, similar. Uh, even though it has a new game mode, it has some new cosmetics, the player base has been kind of going downhill when it comes to watching it. To me, honestly, I hope Modern Warfare is able to learn from these two games that are, are pretty much at the peak of the AAA games, Black Ops 4 as well as Apex Legends. And I really hope Modern Warfare is able to take a good look at itself, look at to take a good look at these games and not be able to do what they have done where you are nickeling diming players, but you're also hiding some uh, some unique and, and rare and very powerful items behind reserve crates. Uh, to where people are going to be, you know, spending money to, to pour money into it. And I get it, you know, you're wanting to make some money for your, your for your company, for your game, and I totally understand that. But however, I really do see it as a very mistreated uh, way of doing it because you are having the people that have a lot of money spending money in the game to be able to get the most powerful items in the game. But honestly, just as an average row, average row person, average row guy, when it comes to gaming, 
There's no way in the world that I'm gonna be able to spin that unless I'm extremely lucky in the loot box system that they have implemented in the game. So honestly, just kind of looking at it from an outside in, I really do hope that Modern Warfare does not go down this route when it comes to, uh, you know, operators, when it comes to weapons in the game. I know maps right now, they've announced that maps are gonna be all uh, unlocked for all players, no matter what platform you're on to keep the player base together. But honestly, if it goes down the route, route that Black Ops 4 has done, where it keeps the powerful weapons as DLC content in the reserve crates or whatever crate box, whatever hidden mechanic, surprise mechanic, uh, you know, that Modern Warfare wants to do, I feel like that's going to be a huge detriment to that game, and I really hope it does not go down that path. When it comes to Apex Legends and it comes to cosmetic items, whether that being weapon skins, weapon variants, attachment variants, uh, operators, whatever that is, again, for a $60 game, I really doesn't go, hope it doesn't go down the route that Apex Legends is going, to where you are literally nickel and diming players and, and you are charging a lot of money for cosmetic items in this game. Treat us fairly, treat us with respect, treat us with decent decency, and I imagine you will have a lot more players buying your content, buying the extra DLC that comes with your game. Um... Other than just nickeling diamond players and, and, and having these humongous high prices that people are not going to want to spend money in your game or support it. So, guys, let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think about this? What do you guys think about that? Modern Warfare, will it learn from these two other games with currently Apex Legends and with the past with Black Ops 4? Let me know in the comments below what you guys think uh, will happen when it comes to Modern Warfare microtransactions. And uh, will, will we see the same things happening? Uh, they're happening in two previous games uh, happen with this Modern Warfare game. So let me know in the comments below. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great rest of the day, and I will see you guys all next time.